What is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a short little quick video on how to get the damage info at the top left of your screen. Like in some of my videos you would see me hurt people in comp games and then I don't actually kill them or I do kill them. And then right when I die it shows all the little info of how much damage I've given who on top right I mean top left of my screen I'll show you guys how to do that but let me show you guys what it is first because not everyone's gonna understand what I'm saying so yeah BRB alright guys so we are in the game and let me toggle um, as you can hear you can hear those sounds that's the sound of me toggling the script um, you might be like oh you're gonna get banned Tim it's hacks that's how you got banned last time no the last time I got banned from overwatch for some random crap and as you can see right here, I gave him 60, I can't, oh, wrong button, right here, 60 and 3, glitter ball. Um, you might be like, Tim, that's not useful, because it shows right here. Well, if you attacked a bunch of people already, like, you hit a bunch of people, and none of them died or something like that, it's very helpful. Like, watch here. Okay, wait, this is deathmatch, it doesn't show who I killed. Um... So I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to damage them. And I'm going to leave. And he won't let me leave. I'm trying to make a video here, guys. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. Uh, once I find a few people, I will shoot them. And then I'll die. And I'll show you what I mean about why it's useful. Alright, there, guys. I finally got to... Oh, fail. Um, as you can see right there, 64 and 4 and 23 and 1. And this guy is annoying me. That's a bot. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what it basically shows and does. And now, after this game, I'll show you guys what the lobby one does. Alright? So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys. So, now we are in here. And as you can see right there, lobby set data, blah, 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 blah. Alright? As you see right there, that's what it's going to look like when I get into a wall. When it pops up the Excel button, it'll show what map it is. And the way this works is... Um, it uses the dev console and it pulls out the uh, game info before it actually starts. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. Um, you can use this to win a lot of bits. And, but the problem is you have to be the host of the lobby. And if you want it to work every time, before you get into the lobby, well, create a lobby, you would have to type in blah, 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 blah. And right there, as you can see, it's a demarrage, and I'm not going to accept, but promise me it works 100% of the time. And yeah, so I'm going to end that because I feel kind of bad for the people that are actually playing, but I'm going to end that. And then let me quit CSGO real quick, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Um, first of all, you want to make a new file, all right? You want to name it whatever you want. It can be Tim A or auto cfg or whatever you want it to be auto config but you want to make it instead of a text file you want it to be a cfg file a config file and some of you guys won't be able to do that so what i will have to do i mean what you will have to do would be file save as and then name it whatever you want and instead of text if you have um, Notepad++, just look for CFG in here. Not sure where it is. Looking for it. I'm blind. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm 100% blind right now. <laughs> Anyways, you just look for it. Or, yeah, something like that. But if you're using, um, let's say, regular Notepad. Uh, let me open it up real quick. With notepad where is that at classic notepad right there all right so you open it up um it'll say text or whatever you want to click save as click here type click on all files and then replace it usually would be it would be that but you would change that type in cfg and click save but since i already have it like that it's gonna ask for that anyways let me open this up again um so now that this is open, either on Notepad or Notepad++, you want to leave a line, one blank line at the top, and then you want to type this. This might take a while. Um, I'll be back once I'm done typing this because it's going to take quite a while. All right, I'm back. And you would want to type this 
I will leave it in the um, I'll leave an example file in the description like on Dropbox and you can download it um, this will be the one that displays the damage and that will be binded to F5 or whatever you want to which is why it makes that sound when you hear me turn it on as you can see right here where is it uh, no yeah I forgot it's what it's somewhere there though it makes the sound and it tells you that it's on or off and then if you want the lobby one you would have to type this and I'll be back while I type this so yeah BRB alright guys I'm back again and this right here will be the one the script that tells you the map that's popping up well the map that you're clicking accept to so if you don't like the map cancel it um yeah and then after that you just want to do another space and then type host write config and you save it and you're done this is pretty much all this is for the damage if you want the damage this is for the little thing the text that tells you what map it is on comp and there you go you got it um now first of all you're like how is it how does it work though you want to open up your folders you want to go to local drive or whatever your thing says go to where your steam install mine is installed um, program files 86 x86 go to steam go to steam apps go to common counter strike global offensive csgo cfg and you want to drag and drop into here yep there you go now that it's in here you want to open up steam go to library right click on csgo and click on properties and then set launch options um, you usually won't have all this stuff but uh, here I prefer you type this slash console well dash console and what was it dude I, just, I legitimately just forgot is I put it as on new config okay 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 um, I want to remove all that my minus or dash console plus exec and then the file is auto config sfg and now that is there you just click ok but I'm not gonna do that because I have things that I need in here and then once you click ok and you run csgo this would this will be what happens it will load all right black screen don't worry about it and then boom it should open up your console and you should be seeing all this well that's normal but you should be seeing all this random crap like you don't have to worry about this all right but yeah right here it says blah 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 host config wrote cfg um just to be in case like be sure because i've known from past um tries and people commenting on my video um, they were saying that it doesn't work automatically so what you want to do is just type exec auto config or whatever you named it click and enter and then boom should work and then now it will work when you go on the game or whatever in the lobby play with friends it'll show you what map it is blah 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 see by the way, if it doesn't show this right here, then it will not work. Um, that If it doesn't show that, then you would have to go back. Type it once again. Okay, that's Tim to kill 20. Uh, you would want to type it once again and go back. And then once it shows it, then it will tell you what map it is. Problem with this is you have to do it every time you get into, like every time you come back from a competitive game because it resets. So yeah, and then that's basically all guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.